guys, today I'm going to be making a quick chase game in Scratch. Once I open a new project, you see Scratch Cat here, but you can, you can use Scratch Cat, but I'm not going to use Scratch Cat. I'm going to be using a bunch of balls. The first balls are going to be blue. And I'm going to set the size to 50%. I'm going to do when green flag clicked, forever loop, and it's going to move 10 steps. Now, right now, it's just going to move like that. Also, it's, it's supposed to go to random position first. So go to random position and move 10 steps. After that, once it moves 10 steps, it's going to check if touching, oh, touching edge, then it's going to point in direction, pick random 1 through 360. Look, it's already working. Oh. After that, it's going to move 10 steps. Okay, so now it's bouncing. Let's make a new character, a new sprite. And it's going to be another ball, but it's going to be or yellow orange this time. So I can like set it to like 70%. I'm going to make it so that one green flag clicked. If else, and then inside that if else, if else, in the elf, in the else part, and then if else, and then if else, yeah. So if if key up arrow, uh, left arrow, down arrow right arrow that's very no it's very complicated it's like mixed up but i'm just gonna do it so if key up arrows pressed change y by 10. if left arrows pressed change y by negative 10 and then if down arrow pressed change y by negative 10 F key right arrow press, change X by 10. And then this last else, just keep it blank. You have to put all of that in the forever loop. I almost forgot. So yeah. So now I'm moving. It's a bit fast though. I want to do it. So Y by 5, X by negative 5, Y by negative 5, X by 5. See, yeah, it's slower than this ball, so it's harder. In the ball's code, the one that's just running around right now, I'm going to put another if loop under the other if loop, but still in the forever loop. It's going to be if touching ball 2. Well, let's say this is going to be called player. And this is going to be called runner because it's running. One, no. If touching player, then you, then it hides like this. Hide, but make sure at the beginning it's sh it shows. So like this. So you have to chase after the ball and you have to try to make it disappear it's so hard. There, it disappeared. Okay, so I made two more. So yeah, th this is the game I want to show you. These are the three balls that we're trying to chase. We're the yellow one. Yeah, we got all of them, so we win. Yay! Well, now no, it's by, by itself, it's lonely. I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick game tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Bye!